Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited for today's video because this video is the first video of five from my Wing Chun Secret series. Now, every video I will be showing you certain secrets from the Wing Chun system when it comes to punches, kicks, stances, but today is all about applications. So guys, let us not waste time, let's jump straight into it. So guys, for this first video from this series, I've decided to start with applications. So some of you may ask, why not start with stances or punches or kicks or blocking techniques? I decided to start with applications because I want you to know how important it is to start with the end in mind, with a goal in mind, okay? Now when you're practicing your Wing Chun techniques and you have that goal, Everything that you do in practice, in training, now has a purpose. Now you have a goal that you want to reach, and application is everything. If you do not know how to apply your Wing Chun techniques, then suddenly what you're practicing just becomes a form of exercise, but not a real martial art. Now, key points when practicing your Wing Chun, keeping the application in mind, is number one, everything you do, use common sense, okay? Does it make sense to you what you're learning or what you're practicing when you're trying to apply it? Number two, keep it simple, keep it real. Don't overcomplicate things. My Sifu says Wing Chun is simple, but people complicate it. So when you're trying to apply a technique, see if it's effective in its simplicity, okay? You don't wanna overcomplicate things because don't forget, if ever you need to fight out there in a street fighting environment, you will not have time to think, and you will only have time to react. And for you to react with proper form, with proper technique, that is when your training kicks in. So that's why working on the applications from your Wing Chun techniques is so important, and you should be doing it every time you practice your Wing Chun. Every time. Now, when applying, you need to keep in mind if you're maintaining the proper form, proper distance, proper timing, okay? Are you using Wing Chun theory and principles when using your techniques? And if you say yes to these questions, then you're on the right track. When you're practicing, always work with someone who's willing to help you and you help them because that creates the perfect environment for growth. That's where both practitioners will get the most out of that experience. Now, once you have all these elements in place, then just go for it and work on it. Now, don't forget to work on the basics, the fundamental techniques. Regardless of how experienced you are, you always want to keep a track on how well you're doing your basics. When practicing with the application in mind, you can do drills on your own. If you don't have someone to train with you on a daily basis, you can do many things on your own, but keeping the application in mind. Are you executing the kick with proper form, using the hips behind your front kicks, your side kicks? Are you keeping your hands up when kicking, when standing and doing different types of footwork drills? Are you looking down or are you looking up? These little details make a huge difference when you're trying to apply techniques. Then, as you all know, in my school, I encourage my students to wear protective equipment. So that way you can engage with the techniques with a good speed, good power, good rhythm without worrying about getting hurt or hurting, hurting your training partner. Again, it doesn't matter what type of technique you're doing, whether it's basic, intermediate or advanced, use the same elements and then you will see that your Wing Chun becomes alive. Because once you have found the purpose of your Wing Chun, which is the applications, right, that will boost your confidence. And when you have confidence with the techniques and all the different sequences that you've learned in class, then you know you can take care of yourself.
Okay guys, so that's it for today's video. Now stay tuned because I'll be uploading the second video for this five video series next week. And in the meantime, if you wanna check out more of my videos, you can do so by going onto umauniversity.com.au. That's my online academy, and I've got a free introductory applied Wing Chun course there with plenty of videos for you to learn from at home, and that way you can put them into practice with everything that I'm showing you today. Also, don't forget to check out my Wing Chun by Design podcast, okay? I'll be uploading the next episode within the next couple of days. So I've got these episodes both on YouTube and iTunes and also on Spotify. So check those out. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so, so that way you can keep up to date with everything that I'm posting. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend. So guys, that's it for today. I look forward to seeing you on our next one. Thanks, bye.